finally, 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 we have gotten access to CS2. But there was an issue where I was struggling to pour over my config file as they changed some of the commands. So I thought to make your lads life easier, as a lot more people now have access to the beta, I'm going to make a tutorial on the things that they've changed and how to copy your config over to CS2. Now, first thing I want you to do is to go over to your file explorer, go on your local C drive, your programs file, click on Steam, user data. Once you click on user data, it will show all of the data for every account that's been logged on to this PC. Find your main account. Once you have done that, go to 730 for your CSGO, your local CFG. Once you're in your CFG file, find your config.cfg file. Double click it to open it. Now, we're going to put this on the side. Once you have opened up the file, I want you to go to your search settings, search CS2 and remove all of these files. Once you have removed all of these files, I want you to open up a separate file explorer tab. Go to your program files once again, go to Steam again, but this time instead of going to user data, we're going to go to Steam apps. Now we're going to click on common, CSGO, game, CSGO again, CFG. And what we're going to do here is we're going to right click, click new, create a new text document and name it auto exec.cfg. I already have one, so I'm going to make this a temp one to show you what I want you to do. Click yes, you want to change the file type. Now open up this file and bring it to the side. What I want you to do is to copy over every command in here into your new execute file. Now, there are a couple commands that you need to change, otherwise you won't be able to function in the game. The first command is your left and right keys. In CSGO, the command is plus move left and plus move right. But in CS2, it's just plus left and plus right. So you want to remove both of those and change them to the new ones. Now, if you have any jump throw binds, you got to remove those as well. Otherwise, you will not be able to jump in the new CS2. So as you can see, I have a jump throw bind here. I'm going to remove that. The next main command that you need to do is add two new ones, which is bind mouse underscore X to your and bind mouse underscore Y to pitch. Now, this will let you look around with your mouse. Otherwise, if you don't have these two commands, you cannot look around your screen. Now, the last two commands you don't technically need to do as they are related to noclip. If you don't use noclip, then there's no need. Now, when you have located your noclip files, there is two commands that you need to change, which is the speed. So as you can see, we got SV underscore noclip speed as set to five from CSGO, but in CS2, the default is 1200. And there is another command that you need to change related to the speed, which is CV underscore specs speed, which is also being changed to 1200 as that is the default for CS2. Now, once you have these two commands in, you're done. You can close this, close your CFG files, close all of your local config files and just launch the game. Now, as far as I'm aware, I don't believe the buy binds have properly been introduced into CSGO, into CS2 yet. So your binds may not work for every single one. However, I do know the, the nade binds are still the same, but I do not think the rifle binds are the same as we have multiple slots now. I hope this helped you. If it did, subscribe and let me know what you're most excited about in CS2.